Real talk, guys. I woke up this morning with just a lot of head tension, not feeling too awesome. So I rolled past tense. This is our tension blend over my forehead, temples, back of the neck. This is awesome. This is actually the oil that made me a believer in Next oils. up, hydrate, 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 hydrate. So I've been drinking lots and lots of water with a drop of peppermint in there to just kind of soothe, cool, help support my body. Once I finish this, magnesium. Once I finish this tall glass of water, I will be adding in some natural calm, which is my favorite. I love the cherry or watermelon flavor. Add that in, couple big scoops, and drink up me hearties yo-ho. Keep going, all the hydration. Next tip, frankincense. It's amazing, it's the king of oils for a reason. A drop either under the tongue, or if you put it on your thumb and then you press up and hold to the roof of your mouth, does amazing things you can repeat as often as and needed. And I should mention that's a good tip in general. And what's awesome about the oils, you just repeat as often as needed. I may reapply past tense every five, 10 minutes until I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Same thing with Frank, drinking my peppermint water, do all the things. And then because I believe in treating the body holistically, I love this book by Wendy Jensen, The Healing Questions Guide. And I'll open it up here to headache. And I'll ask myself these questions and see if anything is resonating. And I see which one resonates. Either you'll know and go, mm-hmm, that makes sense. Or you read it and you get really ticked off, like, oh, that's not me at all. It is. If you spot it, you got it. So then go to your oils for emotional support. So reading that made me think of surrender. So I looked up surrender in the emotions and essential oils book. You can snag this from Share Oils. And guess what? Wintergreen is the oil of surrender. This resonates. Now wintergreen's a hotter oil, so you want to dilute with your carrier oil like fractionated coconut oil, but this is gonna go over my heart, my wrists, elbow crease, behind the ears, and just inhale right out of the bottle for emotional support. This is empowered self-care. This is holistic healthcare because we're looking and addressing the physical, the supplements, the emotional, all of that together because it's all related. All right, more real life talk for you. I'm a seasoned oiler, I should know better, but the universe wanted me to tell you safety tips for what you do if you get oils in your eyes. So apparently it happens, <laughs> it happens to us all. We put peppermint on or past tense and forget to wash our hands and we touch around our eye. For me, I was reapplying and then putting my makeup on and blending, it was like, mm, oils in my eye. Oils don't belong in your eye. Do not rinse with water. No matter how tempted you are, water and oil does not mix. Here is what you do instead. Grab your carrier oil, fractionated coconut oil, liquid coconut oil. I have this right here in my bathroom because this is my lotion. I combine it with essential oils to get rid of the toxins. So get your carrier oil, go around the eye, that will draw it out and you will be just fine, promise.